Okay guys, what I want to show you today is our epoxy slurry coat mixture. The epoxy slurry can be used for damaged concrete surfaces such as spalling concrete, concrete with a lot of divots and patchwork on the surface. It can also be used to raise the level of the floor. As always, we will start off by our safety gear. We need to put on our booties, sleeves, if not wearing a long sleeve shirt, respirator mask, and eye protection. We're gonna start off with the 4100 primer. This is our moisture vapor stop. So what we're doing now is mixing the A component with the B component into a five gallon bucket. Make sure you scrape the edges of the bucket to get all the components out. We'll mix the A and the B component for two to three minutes. Then we'll transfer that into a second mixing bucket and we'll mix for a further 30 seconds. Again, make sure you scrape all the edges to get all the epoxy out of that bucket. On a small area like this, we'll cut in the edges first using a cutting pot and a three to four inch chip brush. Pour out an even ribbon all the way across the surface. In this particular application, we're using a nine inch roller, a three eighths inch nap. Quickly disperse the product from front to back. Then we'll come back on to the wet epoxy and we'll back roll it from the opposite direction. Give this 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll disperse the 30 grit silica sand over the entire surface. This will give us a heavy aggregate for the epoxy slurry coat to bind to. Once dry, sweep, vacuum, and then blow off any excess silica sand. The epoxy slurry filler, again, is a combination of the 4800 and the epoxy slurry filler bag mix. The ratio is one 44 pound bag mix of a silica epoxy filler to two 1.5 gallons or three gallons of epoxy. Mix the powder into the epoxy at a slow rate. In this case, we are looking at a square footage of around 70 square feet. So we've just mixed up half of one bag of the epoxy filler to a 1.5 gallon kit of the 4800 epoxy. Pour and spread out the filler using a notched tile trowel. This is a self-leveling product and will give you plenty of time to back roll and even out the trowel marks. Right now we're looking at the thickness and keeping it nice and even all the way across the surface. Another application is to use a notched squeegee. Depending upon the surface that you are coating over and how thick you need the repair mortar will depend upon the size of the notch that you're using. Here we're using a 3 8 inch notch squeegee. And finally, we are going to back roll and cross roll the surface. After this guys, you're free to install your favorite versatile system, whether that be the roll on rock lava flow or even a solid color. If you have any questions about this specialized application, please reach out to us.